Hello everyone. Welcome back to a new episode of Fundraising 101. In the last episode, we discussed about term sheet. So like I have said in the previous episode, for a fundraising deal to go beyond the term sheet, there are many other steps also to be completed. And one among that is due diligence or DD. In this episode, we are going to discuss about due diligence. I am Abhijit Premen, practicing chartered accountant. So I am going to explain to you about the three types of DDs. So first is the financial and tax DD. So I am again breaking this down into three. First the financial DD, second the direct tax DD and third the indirect tax DD. So in financial DD, we'll be usually checking the numbers of the uh, company or the startup. We'll be checking the key performance indicators uh, regarding their business. So we'll be digging deeper into the revenue. What are the revenue streams? Uh, is there any uh, seasonal thing about the revenue? What is the customer churn rate? What are the debtors turnover ratio? Uh, how is the company growing year on year? What is the month on month uh, growth rate? And many other factors would be checked in the financial DD. Even the submitted project report or the business plan also would be uh, going undergoing an examination in the financial DD. Then we have the direct tax DD. So direct tax DD is basically the DD based on income tax. So uh, in the income tax DD or the direct tax DD, we would be uh, verifying items like advanced tax payments, TDS filings, TDS payments, TDS returns, income tax returns, whether these income tax returns are matching as per the books and many other things. In the indirect tax DD, we'll be reviewing more about GST related things. Here also we'll be checking the GST returns, whether the company has filed the GST returns on time, whether the GST returns are matching as per the books, as per the income tax returns, and also the uh, ROC filings and all. Uh, this would be covering under the indirect tax DD. Now, uh, coming to the second part. Second part is the secretarial DD. In the secretarial DD, we'll be reviewing more about the secretarial compliances and the RBA compliances. So secretarial compliances means the filing with ROC, Registrar of Companies and Minister of Corporate Affairs. And if you are a company who has already raised funds from abroad, definitely you will be uh, liable to do the FEMA compliances and all, which is coming under RBI. So these things would be verified in the secretarial DD. Then the third one, legal DD. In legal DD, we would be reviewing the agreements, like there can be the key managerial person or the directors have an agreement with the company will be reviewing that we can review the uh, rental agreement or if there are any agreement related to the rights right to use of a intellectual property like trademark copyright or anything those things also would be coming under legal dd so these are the three types of dds that comes under the financial uh, tax legal and compliances part so uh, basically the three are financial and tax dd secretarial dd and legal dd now this is not a complete list of dd that can be done there can be other lists, other things, other DDs also. For example, if you are a software company or an IT company, then you may be having a technical DD. So in the technical DD, the technical consultants would be coming and evaluating the compatibility of your IT infrastructure, like how compatible the software you have developed and various licenses and all. So uh, in speaking in totality, this is an indicative list and not a complete, complete list of what all activities that can be performed in a DD. So the scope of the DD actually depends on the volume of the fundraise, the other complexities involved and many other aspects. So there is no actually predefined uh, kind of scope for a DD and we cannot tell like only these things would be verified in a DD. These things will not be verified. So anything and everything can be verified in a DD. I hope uh, you guys are clear with what a DD is. In the next episode, we'll be um, discussing more detail about how to be prepared for a DD or make your company a DD ready company. Thank you. See you in the next episode.